Hey, what is up guys? You're watching another Pokemon TCG and in today's video guys, what I got for you, we're going to be taking a look at Raging Boat Ogre Pond. Now, if you guys want to go check it out, the list is going to be in the description below. But yeah, this is a deck that is only possible because of the brand new Twilight Masquerade set. So, Raging Boat's got itself a new partner, which is going to be Teal Mask Ogre Pond EX. So, Teal Mask Ogre Pond has the Teal Dance ability, which allows you to attach a Grass Energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, and then you get to draw an additional card. Now, Myriad Leaf Shower does 30, and then 30 more for each energy attached to both active Pokemon. Um, you can use it if you want to, but most of the time, guys, we're going to be using Teal Dance only on this Pokemon. And so that is just going to give you an additional card, and it's going to help your damage output for Bellowing Thunder, which is going to do 70 for each energy you discard on your side of the field. So you have all these basic energies you pitch uh, due to Professor Sada, due to Ogre Pond, or even Sandy Shocks EX, and you're just going to be cranking out high amounts of damage. Along with that, we also have Radiant Greninja in here to discard an energy card and draw two. This will give you a target for, for, for Professor Sada. For, 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 for. Wow, goodness. I think I just had a stroke, guys. <laughs> so that'll give you an additional target there. Woo! Getting them stutters out early. We also have one copy of Sandy Shocks EX. This was the previous partner for Raging Bolt, primarily with the Magnetic Absorption ability, which is pretty perfect. Um, it just says if your opponent has fewer or more prize cards remaining, you may attach a basic Fighting Energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. So if they knock out a Raging Bolt or they knock out an Ogre Pond, well, bam, this is set up and ready to go. So I have had turns where I've had like two or three Teal Mass Ogre Pond and a Sandy Shocks, and then I will just send up Raging Bolt and just start cranking out damage. So Sandy Shocks is still a very good one of in this deck. And speaking of that, we also have Baby Sandy Shocks in here, Magnetic Burst. If you have three or more energy in play, this attack does 70 more damage. Yes, it's not affected by weakness, but still this is a good way to get through those wall Pokemon that might be blocking off your Pokemon EX from attacking. So all in all, just a fantastic card. We also have Squawk Ability X with the Squawk and Seize ability. You can only use this on your first turn, but you pitch your hand and draw six. Now, I have had turns because of this Pokemon on my first turn where I have cranked out 280 before. So, uh, Squawk Ability is really nice. It just allows you to draw into some more stuff. You may pitch some energy from your hand with the Squawk and Seize. They'll give you targets for Sada. And all in all, if you'll just have like a pretty decent hand, you can kind of get your board semi set up. You can just pitch, draw six, Teal Mask, Greninja, just kind of keep the cards rolling and you'll be able to get set up pretty quickly. So this deck really, if you're going second, it's not the end of the world. It's, I mean, you wanna go first most of the time, but with this deck, if you go second, well, you're just gonna probably uh, take some early prizes. Now, as for the item cards, like I said, this is very similar to Andrew Mahomes' list, but I just wanted to go ahead and cover the deck anyway. Um, instead of the catcher, I put in two counter catcher because I have very bad luck with the coin flipping and talking apparently. So the main supporter we're going to use in here is going to be Professor Sada's Vitality. Choose up to two of your ancient Pokemon. And then you attach a basic energy card from your discard pile. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, my phone went off. You attach a basic energy uh, card from your discard pile to each of them. And if you attach any energy in this way, you draw three cards. So like I said, you can just target two Raging Bolts, draw three cards. You'll have your Teal Mass Ogre Pond sitting there drawing you additional cards. You'll have Radiant Greninja drawing you two extra cards. There's a lot of draw power going on. I've had hands where my whole entire bottom screen was just covered because I had so many cards in my hand. So a lot of fun with this one. We also have four Poke Gear. I have not missed one Poke Gear yet playing this deck, I don't think. Uh, just because the amount of drawing that you do, uh, you really, really just hit them every time. And then, of course, we do have Palpat in here to shuffle our Sadas back into the deck. Uh, so, theoretically, we can probably pull off six Sada in a game. So, you know, that's pretty cool. We also do have the one copy of Judge, the awesome-looking Judge. This card in real life is probably one of my favorite arts. I don't know why. Just the, the red and the green just, man, it's crisp. Love it. We do run two copies of Super Rod. Most of the time, I'm throwing in Grass Energy. <laughs> Uh, I'm usually just throwing in three Grass Energy, so that way Teal Mass Ogre Pond has some targets to draw me extra cards. And then we also have Bug Catching Set. This card's freaking awesome. I can't say enough good things about this. You look at the top seven cards of your deck, you may reveal up to two in any combination of Grass Pokemon and Basic Grass Energy you find there and put them in your hand. So you can actually hit one Grass, one Ogre Pond, and then that just turns into an extra card for you, and you thin your deck out a little bit. Also, with the top seven cards of your deck, if you haven't had a chance to search yet, you can kind of see sort of what's in your deck, maybe. You might see a key card. You might need a certain matchup or just, you know, give you an idea of, like, 
you know, hey, can I nest ball right now or something? You know, you never know. Look at the top seven, just gets you some additional information. We do have four nest ball and three ultra ball, another good way to pitch energy for Professor Sada. Uh, we also have energy retrieval and earthen vessel. Earthen vessel is a really good way for you to just pitch a card. It can be an energy, and then you just get an additional card. So, like, you get like a, if you need a fighting energy, you can grab that, Greninja it away whatever earth and vessel is really good for this deck because this can turn into a plus two which is nice with teal mass ogre pawn of course we do have switch card everything in here is a basic and then of course the a spec is going to be prime catcher and then we have bravery charm to make our raging bolt a little beefier so yeah that is going to do it for the deck guys we have a 733 split of energy we primarily want to have a lot of grass energy for our ogre pawn to attach but that is going to do it for the deck, guys. I do have some gameplays for you. I did the best I could. I'll be honest, I win games pretty quickly with this deck because of how freaking insane it is. Uh, but hopefully you do go on to enjoy the video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I hope you enjoy Twilight Masquerade. All right, so it's been a minute since I've done any uh, live com, so we're going to see how this goes. I just got done editing my gameplay footage, and I did not like it. <laughs> and so we're just going to... We're just gonna do live comm and see if we can actually get something. Uh, my opponent has the ogre pawn sleeves, so will this be a mirror? That'd be fun. Nope, we are playing against the T things. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and play that down. And we do have, we have the Sada. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we're just gonna go to those. Why not? Spirit will attach the active, and then let's go ahead and teal dance. In case you guys can't tell, I am in a new spot. Um, got my own office now, and so I have my own space to kind of come in here and just kind of record, do some stuff. Uh, my setup won't constantly be like in my room where I'm where I'm at, so you know it's just. It's a nice way for me to just kind of come in here and chill out. That was a good Iona, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> and I have no idea what my opponent's playing. I, I'm going to be straight up with you. <laughs> uh, so we do have Bud Catching Set. We have Poke Gear. We got a Grass Energy. I don't think we really have any energy in the discard. So we'll uh, we'll see what we can do here. This is This is a very, very interesting hand. Very. Hold on one second. Okay. All right. So I'm thinking we bench here. Let's go ahead and go for the buck catching set. Got one of those. Actually, let's go ahead and teal dance first. a little better. Hmm. I kind of want to go for a Greninja, maybe. So we'll pitch this, and then we will go electric, and we'll go electric fighting. That should be fine. Um, and then I guess we'll go for, I guess we'll pitch these two. Grab a Greninja, let's take a look at our prizes. All four Sadas. Okay, not bad. Put that down. And I will go ahead and conceal cards. Pitch one, draw two, we don't even need the Poke Gear. It's beautiful. So we go lightning here, one here. Okay. Mm hmm. We have a nest ball. Grab another ogre pawn. Trekking shoes. Yes. <laughs> Trekking shoes. No. Okay. Um. And I guess from here, we're just going to... Yeah, 
Uh, yeah, let's throw this down. Huh. We're going to do that. And then we'll knock out that little poacher geist dude. Why not? <laughs> okay. Not a... Not a, not a bad start. We do see the water ogre pond coming out. And I have no idea what this is. So we do see Ultra Ball coming down, pitching it. Is this just a mass deck? Am I facing off against the dudes from Yu-Gi-Oh? What were their names? Lunas and Umbra? <laughs> Was that their names? Lunas and Umbra? I, I don't remember. It was the Battle City guys that Kaiba killed. <laughs> they sent, they were sent plummeting to their death from a rooftop. Oh, man. All right, so we do see Luminion grabbing a professor's research. All right, so my opponent got a fresh hand of seven. We do see Teal Mask Ogre Pond coming down. My opponent also has the beautiful Ogre Pond. I love that art. All right, that art's so cool. See Bravery Charm. That is a little annoying. also not updating and telling me how much HP it has <laughs> I really thought my opponent just played a second Professor Sada I was, I was about to ask him questions what do you do all right that's not bad okay there we go it updated okay so my opponent is gonna do saw for 20 and okay, so I can't retreat. That's fine. Okay, uh, let's see. We're gonna do that. That is the first one that I missed. That is insane. Um, go for another. One. Hey, do I even have like targets worth of darn? Okay, so we're gonna go with Sada. Just go ahead and go boom, boom. Three cards, cool, perfect. We're gonna go ahead and pow pad those back in. Um, we can get more out of the Greninja. So we're just gonna pitch. Draw two. Cool, cool. Just because I can. <laughs> just because I can. Uh, I don't think I'll need Baby Sandy shocks this match. Uh, so we'll go ahead and grab another Ogre Pond. Lay that down. And I guess I'll go ahead and just burst first. What I need four. So we'll go one here, one here. Oh, he's actually going to bring that up, I think. Let's go ahead and do these two as well. We'll force him to have like a boss or something. We'll do that. So that way, whenever he sends this up, it won't absolutely wreck me. And we have Energy Retrieval, we have Sada, we're fine. I don't want that Myriad Leaf of Destruction <laughs> to come down and just absolutely clap my cheeks. I am I am fine. <laughs> See the cool Arvin, that Arvin looks sick, dude. Okay. Let's see a grass energy. Let's see experience share. And we're really, okay, yeah. So I just didn't want to take the full amount of damage from my opponent there. Um, I didn't know if they were going to be able to pull off some crazy stuff. So we're going to start off with a switch card. So we're going to heal Raging Bolt a smidge. And let's go ahead. We will Professor Sada. We'll go ahead with a fighting here. An electric here. Beautiful. And then we'll go ahead with energy retrieval. Let's grab a couple of these. Bravery charm are active. We will till dance. Right here. Heel dance. 
because we can. <laughs> and then let's teal dance again. We could Greninja, but I mean, you know, hey, let's just get some more energy on the board. Okay, all right, well, we're going to Greninja. <laughs> oh, wait, no, we already Greninja. Okay. Oh. oh, gosh. I fell at work, and I am, like, really, really sore. I'm just going to attack because I can. Uh, let's see. What do I have in my discard? Anything? Nope. Okay. So I, I'm literally hitting for 630 right now. It's actually kind of insane. Go with that one. Go two, three, four. Bam. 280 again. Knocking out. Ogre Pond. And my opponent does get to move an energy back. And then I go down to one prize card. All right. Yeah, I fell at work and uh, had to get taken out of the uh, work by an ambulance. Went to the ER. That was a that was a fun day. Uh, I landed like right where I had open heart surgery. Like I just kind of slammed straight down and landed on it, and uh, scraped my knee. Uh, or, yeah, no, I scraped my shin up. It's swollen, banged up my knee. Just just not a fun time. <laughs> Not a fun time at all. Why not? We're going to do some uh, pack openings real quick. <laughs> all right, let's see. We got a full art lance right on. Got a luminous energy. Iron leaves. I know I can go collect all, but I just like clicking a bunch. <laughs> hey, Greninja EX. Let's go. And the deck we just faced. Right on. Oh, we got one pack left. Full art. Caretaker. Cool. All right. Now we're going to do another game. Yeah, it's been a hot minute since I've done live con. <laughs> that guy's got a Raikou jacket. It's pretty sweet. Or Raging Bolt. Whatever. Dinosaur Raikou. This is a sick coin. All right, waiting for Daryl G1. G1. I don't know if that's his name. Heads or tails, buddy? You get to pick. <laughs> there we go. Your opponent chose tails, flipping the coin. Flipping one coin. <laughs> All right, so I assume my opponent is going to go first. Ooh. Oh, wait, no, okay. Um. Sure, I'll go first. Why not? I actually don't mind going second with this deck. But I'll go first, because why not? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> Yo. That is a hand if I've ever seen one. My God. All right. So we're going to start off with Trekking Shoes. Yes. Let's go ahead and bench Ogre Pond. And... Buck catching set? Why not? Two of those. Cool. Cool. Um, we'll go ahead and go with a till dance. I'd like a nest ball here. Or that. That works too. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. And I'm going to grab another ogre pond. Go. Let's go ahead and till dance again. Gladly take that. Okay, so Radiant Greninja and one Ogre Pawn is prized. We know two of that. Um, also, I'm missing a Switch card, I think. Um, and then I think Nest Ball? I think Nest Balls are another one? Okay. So prizes aren't too bad. And we're going to go ahead and just pitch that. We'll grab a fighting that. And then let's go ahead and squawk and seize. We have targets now for Sada, which is beautiful. There we go. And then we'll just attach for turn and we'll pass. Yep, we'll pass. All right. So we do have targets for Sada. We have a uh, Pokey Gear in hand if they don't Iona me or judge me. So we'll see. Going with the attract customers. Dude, Tatsugiri is a great card. All right, Arvin. 
Tats, Geary, and Arvin. Th this could be anything. It could be Maridon. It could be Charizard. I've seen... It could be Dragapult. That's another one. I'm thinking it's Dragapult. It has to be Dragapult, right? This makes too much sense. Yes, it's Dragapult. Okay. Groovy. All right. So my opponent can bench another Dreepy, attach an energy and the evolution to Tatsugiri, and then get a couple evolutions. Not too bad. All right. <clears throat> There is the Rotom V. So you can do Rotom V for two, or three, excuse me. Um, yeah. All right. And then we see the evolution. So he gets to evolve into Zatu and Dracloak. Dracloak, however you say it. All right. Um, this is fine. We're fine. This is where I kind of wish I had the normal catchers, but you know, what can you do? Ooh, that was a bad miss. That was a bad miss. Let's make sure, yep. Okay, we're gonna go with that. Let's go for the till dance. Earthen vessel. Um. That one up. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a one up. Let's go for another till dance. Well, that is certainly something. <laughs> that is certainly something I would. I would say so. Um, all right. So I think here what we do is we just bring up this. And then we're going to go ahead and bring up that. And then do that. And we'll go ahead with the Raging Bolt. So I need to pitch two. Actually, we're going to do one and one. There we go. Yes, that's fine. Okay, so there's 140. Knocking that out. Uh, Greninja, please. Ugh. All right. <laughs> the good news is I can at least take like a another cheap prize potentially. Um, so my opponent is going to super rod here. And if I had to guess, well, no, attract customers might actually get them something. I am actually okay with you using Iono. I, I am actually fine with that. <laughs> okay. That's a little better. That is, that is a little better. So I think I might do is I might Bravery Charm Squawkabilly and one of those Ogre Pond potentially. And we see, oh my god. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Hello, Blood Moon <laughs> Ursaluna. All right, that card's so cool. Dude. It gives it gives every deck basically a radiant Charizard, like in a sense. Like every deck gets like a radiant like Charizard. What was that? That scared me. Okay, so I am actually going to do this. Maybe we'll go with Ultra Ball. We're gonna. Pitch that, that, and we'll just grab something. Let's see. Um, well, actually, hold on. Dragapult hits for 200, I believe. So, yeah, we'll do that just in case. And then we'll attach to the active just to be safe. We'll go electric fighting. OK. 
Okay. Got a grass. Go ahead and go with the teal dance. Attach here. And right on. Go with that. Um, that should be fine. So I just need one discard. So we'll just discard the second fighting off of this Pokemon. Yep, 470. All right. Okay. Radiant Greninja is in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I see why the counter catchers like would I don't know. I see like where they, they make sense. Regular catcher, yes, it's a 50-50, but you can play it at any time. Um, I don't know. I still like him. I just yeah, I'll keep going with that. So it does promote Rotom. So if I had to guess, Homeboy is probably... He's probably got a way to get that out of there. Oh, okay, so he's got the Lost Vacuum. Probably going to get rid of... Um, well, I'd probably say off the active he might get rid of it. I don't think that Squawkabilly... Bravery Charm is affecting him that much. With the Clairvoyant Sense, if I had to guess, he's probably going to attach to Blood Moon or Saluna. Yep. Draw two. Um, let's see how many energy is. So, okay, so he needs a double turbo. The only thing I'm worried about is he does have Lost Vacuum. That had to have been a misclick, right? That had to have been a misclick. Here comes Tatsugiri. Is he going to Lost Vacuum my Bravery Charm off the active is my question. I know what he's wanting me to do. He's wanting me to knock out Rotom. And then he promotes Blood Moon Ursaluna, Lost Vacuums, and then he returns to KO. I know that's what you're up to. So I'm going to go ahead and just play that down. Um, we'll go ahead and tilt it. Um, would it be worth using the vitality? Maybe, maybe we'll do that. So we're gonna go boom, and then boom for three. Uh, whoops, I don't mean to click my deck. Uh, I think we're good. Keeping a super odd. I mean, okay, so I take two here. He does, hypothetically, let's say he does bring it up, knocks me out. Or if he evolves into... The, I I think we're fine, to be honest with you. So I'm going to get... Good Lord, 770. I think we're fine. Um, so let's say I need 7, 14, 21. I need three. So we're going to go one, two here. And then we'll go one here. 7, 14, 21. Yeah. Okay. And then I can super rod those back in if need be. Okay, so he's going to bring up Blood Moon or Saluna. Yep. Okay. So that puts me down to two prizes. So he has to have like a crazy, crazy turn here. Okay, so unless he. Well. Does he run reset or like unfair stamp? If he runs unfair stamp, then he's got a plan. Because if he doesn't disrupt my hand, I just win. I mean, like I just win. Okay, so we're going to see drag bolt come down. All right, right on. Clairvoyant Sense, probably attach it to the Draga. Yep. Two. Oh, wait, actually. No, yeah, yeah, it's 249 money. 
Where's that vacuum? You better play. You better play that vacuum. If you don't play that vacuum, you are gonna be very upset. Okay, there we go. There's the vacuum. And honestly, this is fine. Like th this is fine. I win if he just goes straight into this attack. Yeah. But you better have unfair stamp. <laughs> 7, 14, 21. Yeah, I win. Yep. Alright, GG, dude. GG. Bring that up. And... Yep, 420 damage. Alright, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. And I will hope to be back for some more Pokemon content pretty soon. Just took down Dragapult. Didn't really see Dragapult because I got that early Prime Catcher. Oh, hey, hey, Greninja. Nice of you to, nice of you to show up. But yeah, there we go, guys. Was able to pull out two victories for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. And that is going to do it. And we're going to get to work on some Twilight Masquerade content, hopefully, here soon. You guys take it easy. Love y'all. This is Epic Pokemon TCG, signing out. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey.